Cook, man. She said she was with a real ripper. And it's like further, you know, investigation. I look at your videos. I find out it's like, this guy's no better than a B-grade pro, man. And it's like, God only knows the implications and the ramifications of your actions if you're not ripping Sterling. You're telling the whole surf community you're doing inverted tricks, man. It's like, you're not doing inverted tricks. You probably haven't done one since God only knows. Like, right. think about it. Hey, how's it? You know the rules. It's 2023, baby. We made it. It's the new year. It's the new year. Here we are. Now what do we do? What's going to kill us this year? <laughs> <laughs> what is going to kill us this year? Rabies. Yeah, some sort of monkey rabies. Ankle rabies. Why are they always trying to kill us? Can't we <laughs> Can't we just have a year off? Yeah, give us one year. Like can scientists just chill out? Like Actually there's something new. It's called chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, wait. <laughs> we did that one what in the nineties. <laughs> like looking through the <laughs> wait a second. That's it. We've done that <laughs> before. <laughs> you ever been to a wave pool? Once. Where? Well, <laughs> funny you ask. Yeah? I was in Surfer Magazine for being the youngest kid to <laughs> surf a wave pool. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> the youngest kid ever? I served Typhoon Lagoon in Orlando. Yeah. And I was like seven or eight. Hmm. My dad was like made an ad. And Surfer Magazine. No way. And I'm like holding my surfboard looking up in the distance. <laughs> you hold the record? And it was like, youngest surfer to surf type of thing. <laughs> it's not even like a big deal. <laughs> that is hilarious. My dad turned it into like, I surfed pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> so a wave pool is like, I'm just asking curiously. Yeah. Like, do they actually produce what they're wanting? Like actual natural waves that people can compete on? It's definitely getting pretty good. It looks really good for kids. They can get good really quick. Right, because it's Cause they can get like 100 waves in a day. Yeah. I saw this one footage of this guy. He comes up behind him and like pushes him into the wave like and then like stands with him and like bends their backs and helps them like. <laughs> they're like in the barrel together? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> like full on like Teaching surf training while them. they're on the wave. Do you know that guy? It's this. It's like yeah, Ra- Ramana. Yeah, that's his name. And yeah. he's like this bigger dude. And he comes in like Jack Black and like, <laughs> and he like grabs them while they're on the wave. He's from Tahiti. Well, I've always wanted to do a wave pool because it's so hard to surf in Florida. I hear they're just a totally different experience. In like, what way? The ocean is magical. Right. So you can't really recreate that. So I think it's more about like a sporty. Feels more sporty, like a football stadium. Oh. Surfing is almost like hiking. You know, like, you know, when you go hiking, it's just by yourself or that's like wave pool is more like soccer or football. Hmm. Like, all right, we're going to like get to work on stuff, which is cool too. Like, but they don't, they do contests in the wave pools. Yeah. They've done a couple. So are wave pools good or bad? They're good. They're good. Just different. I think it'll be good for servers that love the ocean because they'll be off doing their wave pool stuff. Right. It doesn't. Well, it like doesn't a, affect anyone. Like a dude in Ohio could be the next Andy Irons. Yeah, that would be cool. It would be good for... <laughs> Some country could. boy, and he's like, kills it. <laughs> I just did a rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> ocean surfing will never... It's a totally... I think eventually it'd be cool if there's like an ocean surfing world tour and then a wave pool world tour. That'd be sick. And then the ocean surfing is more about like... Who can ride the waves the best? Right. Style. And, yeah. And then kind of the way the pro tour is now, they can just go to wave pools and flip their little brains out. <laughs> like, who can flip the most? Right. Because that's, that's kind of what. People are doing 360 flips. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what the wave pools, I think, are good for. Let's let's fire off some questions, Strong. What do you think? Okay. First one comes from underscore Diago underscore Ricardo asks, do you think Kelly finds humor in your videos when you no. joke about it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> when is Gold 2 coming out? Asks Bip underscore Ira Zatorzak. If someone sends us some freaking money. <laughs> <laughs> we need a sponsor to film Gold 2. Next. How sad were you, hear- were you to hear about Flores retiring from the WSL? <laughs> Me and Jeremy Flores go back. Right. And it was an end of an era. That me and him built. 
how do I get inverted? Asks Jeremiah's Instagram. Well, lazy eyes help. Oh yeah, we've heard about that. I was showing her like my lazy eye and how it can like do figure eights. That's how you see waves better. Yeah, that's how I like when I'm inverted. I like know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> but the the ancient scriptures say like hemp seeds, cores yeah. like right, and uh, like uh, ribbed condoms. What do you do with them? Well, Wrap you them around your board or something. <laughs> you put them on your fins <laughs> well if you get inverted likely you could get people pregnant out in the water just bing magically no oh magically. like just scientifically oh, okay because you're just you're so much spray just <laughs> and oh. if it gets on is paddling for every set wave on a soft top a good way to make friends this is a setup what you're setting me up. I don't want to get... You know how angry I get. I know. About we'll, soft tops. We'll move on. How can I progress faster? What are you trying to progress? I think he's talking about surfing. Maybe. Three easy payments. Would... Would do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best surf maneuvers to pick up babes. Like, mm. is there a few maneuvers that are like, a chick sees and goes, what the... <laughs> 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 That's a good question. Maybe the cockroach. Yeah, what's that? It's where you get on your back and you spread <laughs> your legs and <laughs> wave your... You, you like... <laughs> you get your feet. Yeah. And then you go like this. And that really... It sends out your pheromones. Casey underscore WR. Have you ever been teabagged by Kelly? No comment. <laughs> Next <Yes>. question. <laughs> <laughs> Is Wyatt your son... Technically, half centaur, centaur, a.k.a. one-fourth human. Yeah, he's quarter centaur. Where are Italo's beloved Crocs? Where is Italo's Crocs? And why has this become such a big deal? Did you steal them? <laughs> <laughs> did he leave them? They're right them? over there. You want to grab them? I'll grab them. But did you steal them or did you? Did he le leave them? Lily leave I'll them. tell you when you get back. Found them. There they are. The beloved Italo Crocs. So tell the story. I know you've, we've talked about it before, but... Why are, is this such a big deal? He won the Olympics in these, I think. He won, won the Olympics? Mm hmm I didn't know that. He's the first surfer to ever win the Olympics. Really? So we were surfing Rocky Point, and then I come back the next day, and they're there. And then I came back the next day, and they're <laughs> oh. there. And I come back the next day. And so, like, 10 days go by, and I'm like, he left him. <laughs> 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 so I'm like, I'm going to bring him back to him. Right. Like, this is it. This is my big... Like, I'm going to be a hero in Brazil. So I messaged him, and he wrote back at me. He's like, oh, my gosh, thank <laughs> you. Like, he's like, sick. And I was like, cool. Like, um, here's my place. Like, do you care if I film me giving them back to you? And he never responded. <laughs> he's like, don't <laughs> later. And I think he's scared, like, I was going to mess with him. Oh. So I message yeah. him every day on his Instagram, like, I will bring these back to you. <laughs> <laughs> but you took him to Florida. Well, I guess that's smart because you tell well, him just leave him in. Well, someone would steal him. Right. Laughing in Spanish asks, "Is it too? Is it possible to get too inverted?" Yes. You have to crack open a beer for that one. This is our new water company called Centarpis. Centarpis. It sounds like Centarpis, but it's actually Centarpis. Centarpis. <laughs> <laughs> what does getting too inverted do? It's really dangerous for your organs, like okay. your taint. That's not an organ, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, the inner taint. The gland. Oh. And that's your root chakra. Oh. So if you get too inverted <laughs> and, like, <laughs> you sp spread the taint straight at the sun, you can mess some serious like stuff long, up. long-term effects. Do you still have the gold speedo you wore in gold? It's gone. No, I sold it on eBay for one point two thousand dollars. There's a human half centaur here. <gasps> Why it? Why it's here? Uncle Ryan wants to give you a hug. Come here, boy. <laughs> so you sold the gold speedo. I thought Shaquilla sold it. Shaquilla. She got half the money for it, right? Do people know about Shaquilla? Shaquilla is Shaq's daughter. Oldest daughter. Mm -hmm. And Sterling and him, her, <laughs> fell in love mm -hmm. at a club in Orlando. Yeah. 
and you guys, that was your first wife. And <laughs> she broke your heart, sold the gold Speedo on eBay. Got half. Oh, we got married. Right. We got married. She bought me a ring. She in- proposed to you. Mm-hmm. She got on her knees. That's funny that he named her Shaquilla. It's like almost Shaq. But yeah, she really messed me up, dude. <laughs> 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 so you and Shaquilla, you guys tried to branch out to the like fitness world and right. you started a fitness video and she would kind of coach you like a classy fitness right like, like you, you wear nice clothes and work out right and so you had that gold speedo this is what this fan is asking and <laughs> you were like she would massage you in the hot tub mm-hmm. and but once the filming ended what happened to the gold speedo well i caught her cheating on me. <laughs> she cheated on you mm. with who got her a jack black jack black no and we had beef because i would sell him his dvds back then right i remember that you would go to his I house mean, you introduced me to him well yeah i was i was close with him we used to like hang out in this group of kind of chubby guys it was a group of chubby guys <laughs> We had like a chubby guy group. <laughs> so yeah, I was I wanted him to introduce you because you were like this big pro surfer. I was like, he was wanting to buy DVDs from you of surf films and stuff, mm-hmm. and he was it was weird. Okay, here's the thing: just be cool with Jack because he's got like he's freaking out right now. Gotcha. Hey. Yeah, it's me. Jack to me because I had the DVDs. Right. And I left Shaquilla in the car every time I'd come over and bring the DVDs. He he would like stand in his underwear like looking at her like. So that's where the connection happened. Yeah. So I caught him in bed with her and I've never been the same since. All because of your chubby guy group. <laughs> okay, so I made up this game. So what you have to do is don't look yet. I printed out some pictures of some famous surfers throughout the years, newer and older, and I blacked out their faces. I want to <laughs> see if you can identify them just by the, their looks. Okay. <laughs> All right. For the first one, guess who this is? Aki. All right. Who's that? Felipe Torpedo. <laughs> You're right. Who's that? Taj Burrow. Don't look at his face. Uh-huh. John Jen. Jordy. Dude, this get a little harder. That these are older. Um, this is. I know who it is. Um, the Skeletor. Nope. Oh, it's Brad Gerlach. It says Rabbit. Oh, Rabbit. All right, this yeah. guy. I was wrong. Christian Fletcher. Yep. Talk. Dang. Christian Fletcher. Dane. Yep. Dane. <laughs> Look at that photo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it could be like. That's what happens when you get too inverted. See the taint? Oh, so this is where the condom so comes. The- <laughs> That's the two inverted. This is two inverted. It's Dane again. Yep, Dane again. Dane again. Dane Reynolds. Mark Richards. Dude, look at all those people. So sick. Me! Dude, yep, you got it. That was a trick. That was Sterling. Tom Carroll. Dude, isn't that a cool picture? Yeah, look at those thighs. First glance, it looks like Taj. See if you're right. Yeah, it's Taj. You're right. Kai Lenny. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, he's trying again. It's Tom Carroll. Yep. Look how <laughs> I thought that look. I didn't know he looked like that underneath all those hoodies on his Instagram <laughs> I didn't live. Know he looked like that. Sean Thompson. Yeah. Rabbit? How do you know? How do you know that that's Sean Thompson? Like I would look at that and be like, "What? Is it the watch? Like, he's wearing a Rolex." When I was a kid, <clears throat> I'd look at the magazines, and right. I have a photographic memory, so like, it just pops up in my head. Okay, this is a woman. Lane Beachley. You knew it. <laughs> Mick Fanning. Yeah. So that's c- the new uh, surfing game that I made up. So what's up with the watches that people are arguing about having to wear? In Who's arguing? I saw one of the surf things that people are like, I ain't going to wear no watch. And other people were like, why wouldn't you? It tells you all the stuff that's going on. And Surfers will be required to wear a WSL sanctioned smartwatch during competition that will send live updates on priority wave scores. 
I guess it shows you what's like live. Are they making them wear? I think they said they're gonna make them wear them. All that digital stuff absolutely freaks me out. I don't. I wouldn't be too cool with that. I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm a geek with that kind of stuff. Like I think it's cool to know like I don't know certain things. Weird waves guy that, that worked. Dylan with Graves. Dylan Graves was talking about it on some sort of show, and mm. some one person was saying how they wouldn't do it, and I think he was saying, "Oh, I, I'd wear it. Why not? It shows you like live." I mean, you're getting paid to serve. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like is it that hard wearing a watch? Yeah. I guess if it's affecting your health in any way, like right. probably not. People's wrists start <laughs> falling off. Why, wh why, what's wrong with getting stats? Right. So your sister is famous. Or Abigail like, Spencer. Abigail Spencer, everybody. Right. You're the famous one. Not the unfamous one. Abby is the famous one in our family. Right. And I'm semi-famous. Yeah. You're, yeah. <laughs> and then my brother is like tall tale famous. Right. Like you just hear about stuff he did. Right. It's like, whoa. He did what at the Islander? <laughs> <laughs> well, like Abby was in All My Children. <laughs> she was in tons of movies. Right. She's kissed Daniel Craig. <laughs> <laughs> she did? Yeah. <laughs> James Bond. Well, all right. Let's let's talk about it. So we were in L.A., and we were at your sister's house. We're about to go to the Chasing Mavericks premiere. Right. And we went to saw the movie. Gerard Butler was there. Well, it's Gerard Butler's movie. It's Gerard Butler's movie. He's yeah. the star. And, yeah, it was sick. We were at this mm -hmm. after party in L.A. And I was like, Ryan, I have to go pee. Will you please come with me? So, so... <laughs> <laughs> So we're in LA. It's like 1 a.m. We're three hours away from where we were living or staying in, in California. We're three hours away from home. <laughs> Just remember, we have to drive three hours we're after very this. scared. We're in LA at this party. Gerard Butler's around. And um, you go, I need to pee. Will you please go with me? <laughs> and you, come with me. you start walking. And How I'll, did you know to pull your camera out? So Gerard Butler is w right in front of me. And in front of Gerard Butler is you. And we're so all, he s went in between us. Yeah, somehow he snuck in between <laughs> us. And I'm I'm like, that's Jared Miller. And like, all night we were kind of just walking around. So I pulled my phone out, super gross and weird. <laughs> and you guys are peeing next to each other. So I, I didn't know it was him. At first, yeah. So I, like, <laughs> go to the stall and I'm standing there. And then this, like, giant... <laughs> He's so big. Yeah, and he had a leather jacket on. And we didn't have a wall between our peepees. So he's like, I'm like peeing, and like he's looking at me, and he's like, <laughs> you look just like, what's the guy's name? Abigail. No, <laughs> Rob Lowe. He's like, you look like Rob Lowe. Yeah, we're peeing. And I remember I had suspenders on <laughs> the, first, the only time in yeah, my whole life. Yeah, why'd you do that? So I'm peeing, and like, I feel, you know, when you feel someone looking at you <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like, and he's looking at him and he's like, oh my God, you look just like Rob Lowe. <laughs> and I'm like, really? He goes, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like staring into my eyes and we're, I'm trying to pee. Right. And like my wiener was the smallest it's ever been. Totally. It was so scared. And he's just like peeing so loud. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no. Ah! And I'm like trying, I'm like, huh. I'm like, uh. and uh, he's like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Abigail's brother. And he's like, I see it now. And he's like, I'll see it now. But then like, he didn't wash his hands and he's like putting his hands on He like me. wiggled your earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, nice to meet you, pal. He like carried me out of the bathroom and he's like, <laughs> I found your brother. <laughs> Abigail, I found your brother. He was so touchy to everyone. And you never peed. I know. <laughs> yeah, the pee went away. It, like, went back. And I remember he was hugging your sister just because they did a movie together. And he was just like, hey. And I took a picture because Abby told me to take pictures throughout the night. She, like, made mm -hmm. me do stuff. And I was taking pictures. And he was like, he looked at me so mad. And I was like, <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> he got mad at me. And he, she goes, oh, they're with me. He, like, I saw Gerard Butler, 300. Scary. <laughs> he looked right at me because I was like. Because Abby told me to take photos of the night, and yeah. he almost killed me. But yeah, then Abby remember, saved my life. I remember you uh, feeling weird. I was like, oh, crap, Gerard just 
got mad at me. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Steven Spielberg? When yeah. I, when I hung out with him? I, I remember the footage, yeah. That was crazy. Like, um, So I went on the red carpet with right. Abby. What movie? Uh, Cowboys and Aliens. <laughs> yeah. So I get on the red carpet, and Harrison Ford's behind me, and Steven Spielberg's in front of me. That's crazy. So when you're on the red carpet, um, everyone's yelling at you. Fans, they have people telling you where to stop, where to go. And it's like, right. stand here, take measure. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like following Abby with my GoPro or whatever. It takes like an hour to go through that. So I'm just like chilling with Steven Spielberg. Just the whole <laughs> way walking with him? Yeah. That's crazy. And I took my camera out and I like put it in his face and he's like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Steve. Are you guys with someone? She's a what? Yeah, Steven. How you doing? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Hello. 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 The full Hollywood experience. Dude. So it was different than the Gerard Butler one? Mm -hmm. Like, did you see that video of Abby dancing? No. Should we watch it? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to party? Is that your mom? Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Mm. You want some pancakes with that? Bam! Bam! Who wants some <laughs> of these biscuits? Who wants a biscuit? You want a biscuit? Who wants a biscuit? Bring on the biscuits. How long is this video? <laughs> so oh no, <laughs> now she's on the floor. This makes siblings feel weird. Now she's selling shakas. How long is this video? It's like looping. I just think it's super <laughs> long. I'm like, oh my god. She's still dancing. Dude, your oh phone's no. gonna die. Okay. Whew. When is it gonna global warming gonna start working? Like, I know they talk about we're all going to die because of it, but it's still cold. Right. Well, maybe that's more like a, you're coming at it like a caveman. Like, it's cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a little bit more complicated than that. <sighs> what? <laughs> if we're going to die and stuff, can we, like, at least be warm? You don't like the cold? I love it. It hurts. Yeah. I like the cold because I have chubbiness. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, they talk about it so much. Like, can we at least get some warm <laughs> party going? Yeah, we just had, like, we were in the 20s the other day in Florida. It was the coldest I've ever seen it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're putting all this work into pollution. Like, we should at least get something out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're just throwing plastic everywhere. Like, Yeah. Well, people hate the cold. They, that's why they all moved to Florida. And it's still cold. I know. I don't know get it i just think it would be cool if if we are destroying the earth we could at least get some warm, tropical <laughs> some tropical vibes out of it <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying nothing's changing really i'm no expert right <laughs> <laughs> can we really destroy the earth well you know that i just think the earth is stronger than us it's real but we don't know what it means we're not smart well i think yes we are polluting it but i don't think I think the Earth is so strong. Mother Earth us. is too strong. I think what we got to realize is Earth is going to get rid of us first. Right. <laughs> well, that's what I think some people are scared of. Like, th there's like an end date now, they say. Like, we're going to die. That's why they want to go to Mars, dude. Because of plastic? Like, the volcanoes just erupted, and that causes, like, insane pollution. But it's natural, right? Right. So it's like, what if we just threw all the plastic into the volcanoes? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just put huge barrels in helicopters. Yeah, go into the ocean. Get, yeah, helicopters with giant nets and like <laughs> take it over the volcano, drop it in, and just keep on doing it. And <laughs> <laughs> I want to be comfortable. <laughs> you want warm weather, so we're gonna shove plastic. Well, in I'm stuff. saying if we're destroying it, let's least Sp speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just think humans are like tire fires. Like, mm. they just have to burn out. You think so? I just think humans like to party hard. And we like 
we go through this stage where it's like we know too much and we're just like ah! <laughs> <laughs> and we just and then it starts and then earth's like <laughs> <laughs> and then we do it again it's like ah! yeah <laughs> right grows back over our stupidity we just keep getting reset <laughs> but you think we're the first people to have internet mm-hmm. you think it already happened before i think they had like big podcasts in the like <laughs> <laughs> a million years ago i think they had a uh, an internet in the air that they knew about what like like s- psychically what the heck are you talking <laughs> about <laughs> Like, think about, like, when they created electricity. Like, that must have sounded insane. Right. Now we can send a text straight to the other side of the world in seconds. Beep. I know, right? And it's like, someone thought of that. Yeah. So it's, oh, I think anything you can think of, it can happen. (laughs) Pop-tart. I read this book, uh, Yoga Onda, Autobiography of a Yogi. And he, it's a documentary that he wrote. Mm -hmm. And he... The stuff he saw in India, it seems like tall tale stuff. Mm -hmm. Like guys can do flames out of their hands and stuff like that. One lady could, didn't have to eat food. She just did this breathing. She could breathe eat. What's crazy is he had photos of all of it. He was the first one to bring yoga to America. Mm -hmm. You know, Wim Hof is now famous with his breathing technique. And he can climb up mountains in his underwear. (laughs) You know, and like before Wim Hof, we would have thought that was impossible. You'd have to have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can climb a mountain without pants? <laughs> <laughs> you broke boundaries. But he like swam under a glacier for five minutes. Damn. Or he's doing all this crazy stuff that we thought was impossible. So your point is that you, if you can think it, you can do it. I think anything's possible. You're like Kevin Garnett. Anything's possible! <laughs> <laughs> you have to get in touch with yourself. Hmm. And that takes time. And then you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, I think like you know what's his name? Elon Musk thinks that you know we're we need to find another planet to inhabit, and Mars is the closest. Have you seen his skin color? No. Is he the person we want to be listening to about that? I know, and he got like hair implants too. Really? He can't even grow his own hair. Really. Yeah, he's. You can see pictures of, <laughs> of him like you know, balder. We must go to another planet. Follow me. First, let me get hair plugs. What? Well, they said if they nuke the pol- the poles of Mars, <laughs> then it'll be warmer. And that seems like a pretty. But you stretch. said if you can think it. I mean, yeah, I'm you're, with him. You're Let's with him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> the ideas w- with the wrong intentions can become catastrophic. Like you think he's. It's not coming from a good place. There's a lot of ego in that weird body. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change the subject. It's <laughs> too sad. Well, I was going to bring up is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about them, but apparently people like them. Like Americans well, love. You know, Abby. Abby is at the royal wedding. Right. My Your sister. sister. But like for some reason, they're, why are Americans obsessed? I mean, they're probably cool people, whatever. I don't know. But why do we care about the royal family? I think it's more fashion type thing. It's just like something to talk trendy. about. Yeah, it's trendy. The royal family. Well, like I remember hearing some interview about local people <laughs> in London or wherever this happens. They don't even care about them. Like it's Americans that are so obsessed with the whole. Oh really? Yeah, and they're like we don't care. However, they do. <laughs> Jordy, <laughs> we don't understand. We don't know actually. <laughs> and your sister's homies with Megan. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Meg Hand Mark Hall. Didn't she like steal Prince Harry from the castle? Yeah, they like. She like left, right? Yeah, they. You're talking about Megan, and yeah, mm-hmm. they like <laughs> bailed on the royal. World. And they live in California. Yeah, and he just works at a Jamba Juice. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they were homies before she married right. Prince Harry or whatever. Yeah. And uh, she was in the royal wedding. But what's interesting is we're related to Princess Diana. Her last name is Spencer. Yeah, you're related to Princess Diana. No way. You're like, whoa. They killed our You aunt. find gold in your pocket? <laughs> I marry Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Harry. He's making a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> Jamba juice. <laughs> so my mom has a new boyfriend. Aunt Lydia. 
has a new boyfriend. Aunt Lydia. Oh, your Aunt Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> She's my Aunt Lydia. Yeah, my mom's got a new boyfriend. No way. And it's like this famous therapist dude from Canada. Where'd you meet him? They met on Craigslist. That's not a place to meet a boyfriend. <laughs> I know. It's like a dating app, like Craigslist dating app. Yeah, you can meet people on Craigslist. Hmm. Sounds safe. Yeah. But, so I had dinner with him the other night. Yeah? And, like, he's so obnoxious. Oh, you don't like him? He's just trying to fix me. Oh, because he's a therapist. Yeah, and it's just like, dude. What's his name? Jordan Peterson. Jordan, Not the Jordan Peterson? That guy that's all over the internet now? Is he famous? Yeah, he's super famous. He's He talks very... Yeah, he's got a cool... I like, like his voice. We were at dinner, and I'm just, like, trying to eat my steak, and he's like, you're just going to cut the steak like that, huh? Wait, this is... You're joking. I swear. Dude. <laughs> just everything's just like, oh, really? Yeah. You're just going to cut the steak like that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he's got, like, a tuxedo. We're, we're just at, like, Wait, Arby's. I, I thought you were vegan. No, <laughs> I love vegans. I love Oh, them. that's what that means. <laughs> So you're eating a steak with Jordan Peterson. We're at Arby's and freaking. <laughs> he's just like, he's wearing a tuxedo so tight. <laughs> We're at the buffet and like, he's just like yelling at me like I need to get my life together and I'm like, you're just trying to get some roast beef, dude. I'm just cruising. <laughs> Wait, you were in an Arby's with a buffet? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <That's> Lucky. Sick. <laughs> so we're in Arby's. It's the first time meeting my mom's <laughs> boyfriend. And like he's like he has a like a Arby's big Arby sandwich and he's using <laughs> a fork and knife and staring at me like, Oh really? You're just gonna you're just gonna bring the population down with like judging you? Yeah, just like every like I'm just trying to eat the food and he's just like curly fries. Just like, whoa, dude. Like he's like talking super loud. Like his posture is like Doof. Yeah. And he always crosses his legs. And he's just like Yeah. Like he would twitch his <laughs> foot and it's hitting mine, like just like dish, dish, dish. And I'm like, dude, I w I'm like wearing this and he's just like <laughs> looking at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> He seems kind of... It's like my points. mom's first boyfriend, and I'm trying to be, like, nice and not... But I think he just... He doesn't like that I'm a surfer. Oh, he doesn't see, like, the importance of it? Being a surfer, you're just chill. The ocean relaxes you. Right. And he's, like... he's He needs to catch one friggin' wave. He needs to go to the beach and relax. Right. Like, he's been in like too Kanye. many cities just listening to himself talk all day. Right. Well... And it just ramps up... <laughs> So how did it end? Well, I said I had to go to the bathroom and I just left. You just rang the bell and left. Yeah. But my mom's like, she's been texting me. She's like, you need to talk to, you need to talk to him and make up. He's talk mad to Jordan. that he left. <laughs> Maybe he just looks at you as like a son and he's like, look at this guy. Trying to fix me up. Well, well I don't want to be fixed. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Well, 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 look who it is. So, why are you half centaur? No. You're actually quarter centaur. No, I'm not. You didn't, you didn't get the hooves like Dad, but... Sit, you're a sweetheart, Wyatt. My mom always calls me that. <gasps> you are a sweetheart. <laughs> you ever been to an Arby's buffet? <laughs> you can have my pen. Oh. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> it's the only thing he cares about in life. Dude. Oh, dude. What? <sighs> Jordan's calling me. Jordan Peterson's calling. You can answer it? Should I? Yeah, do it. Hey, Jordan. Sterling, hello. What's up, dude? Well, I've been told by your mother that it would probably be a very good time to call you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about what happened at Arby's. That's neither here nor there, but I gotta tell you, man, it's like, your mother lied to me, Sterling. Look, man, she said she was with a real ripper. And it's like, with further, you know, investigation, I look at your videos, I find out it's like, this guy's no better than a B-grade pro, man. Right. 
So what are you trying to say? Well, I'm just saying, man, it's like, you know, God only knows the implications and the ramifications of your actions. If you're not ripping Sterling, you're not doing inverted tricks. You probably haven't done one since God only knows, like, oh, nine, man, like still filthy days. You think you're living in five summer stories now, man, with your single things, man. It's not five summer stories, bro. So what should I do if you're so smart? Well, what I'm saying is I'm not going to be able to stay with your mother anymore. So you're leaving my leaving. mom because of my career path. Well, there's a verse in the new Surface Journal, Sterling. It says something like, fat bitches still need love, even if their sons don't really rip, man. Right. And it's like, okay, there's an interesting concept, man. Like, I talked about that on the Joe Rogan podcast. I'm surprised you didn't see it. Well, I heard hipster serving is dying. Well, I hope so, because we'd like to see a lot more power serving. God only knows the guys where they force the style. It's super, super lame. Like, almost puke every time I watch one of those stupid movies. These guys at RingCon are super lame. Right. So I shouldn't go down the vlogging route and ride a soft top? Oh, well, soft tops are really safe. They're good for teaching. You know, you might want to relearn what you learned. Does, does your cousin surf, Ryan? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Ryan. It's probably better to surf a little bit than surf a lot. It's a selfish pursuit. You're probably not going to gain anything from it. You're basically a drug addict at this point. It's probably better just go surf a couple of little waves and then you're done. Because I was thinking, I'm going to start a vlog, I'm going to ride a soft top, and I'm going to get giant sunglasses. You don't, you're telling me I'm going down the wrong path. That's not what I'm saying, man. What I'm saying is it's like, you got to look at the concept and the facts and the ramifications of what your actions and what you're saying, man. So you're breaking up with my mom over this? Look at your son's surfing footage. It's disgraceful, man. Right. It's like, it's like. You know, and I, most of the surfers' mothers, they can't deny my, my loving because it's, it's unbelievable. You know, it's like, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, you know? Well, we were at Arby's the other day, and I didn't appreciate you judging the way I dressed, the way I talked, the way I sat. I've never had someone, you know, therapy. I specifically told you to meet me at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> okay, Sterling? Cracker Barrel. I wanted to go to Cracker Barrel, a real man's, a real sophisticated man's restaurant. You want to go to Arby's, and your poor mother's so, such a sucker for you and your bull man. She wanted to go to, she would say, okay, let's just go to Arby's. I don't want to go and get a roast beef with this mustard, man. This bull man. I said, at least I want to go to Waffle House, bro. They're open 24 hours, and they're always really nice, man. Really nice. But you think the people at Arby's are nice? They scowled at me. The Waffle House people and the Cracker Barrel people are some of the most sophisticated, articulate people that you'll ever meet in any restaurant. And Arby's people, not smart. <laughs> it's over. I'd love to be your stepfather, man. You gotta work on your game, man. You gotta work on your, your power, your power game, your real game. You gotta stomp these inverted tricks that you talk about every single day on your Instagram. What are you doing, man? Ride these Christian sins, for God's sakes, man. Album. Okay, I saw your albums. Those are pretty rad, too. <laughs> so it's over. You never know what's going to happen down the line. That's a surfer's pun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror, bro. All right, Jordan. I get it. Okay, Chill. thank you, sir. Chill out, dude. I'll see you next week. Aloha. Dude. <sighs> I told you. He doesn't like you. Sorry, that's kind of hard to mm. listen to. He's so intense. What is up with him? Does he sleep like 23 hours a day and comes out for an hour and <laughs> goes crazy on people? I think he's up for 23 hours and sleeps in one hour. Oh. Some people, they just need to chill. People will just listen to people. <laughs> and tell me what to think. Tell me what to do. It's like if someone talks with... It's like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I was like this Andrew Tate guy. It's oh, like yeah. if you talk forcefully, people are like, okay. Yeah, they're leaders. They're, sh- or they're cheap and they're, they, they just it's listen like, to him. Okay. What's your favorite um, comedian podcast? Do you listen to any comedian podcasts? You know who it is. Let's see if we say it at the same time. Three, two, one. Harlan Bobby Williams. Lee? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them are equal. Yeah. Harlan Williams is friggin' so goat, dude. Like he deserves. He's like a goat that just started. He just started the podcast game, and obviously he's super famous, amazing stand-up comedian. There's just one clip of him. This but late. he's kind of underground. He is, but he is because dude, he was like in that movie he's Rocket. Been Man. around forever. Back in the day, he was famous. Like really, like like he did a movie called Rocket Man, and it's like he was the star. He was the oh, main. He was. G- but he was never like Jim Carrey. You yeah, know. that's what I mean. Right. 
But um, in that world, they're like, you know, every, Harlan Williams is friggin' the man. He's kind of like in, super indie. I love his brain. He was saying this, he did this one joke at a, someone said, he's doing crowd work, and there's this girl, and he goes, what, um, what do you do, ma'am? What do you do, ma'am? You're so friendly. <laughs> a hostess, isn't that nice? A Twinkie or a Ding Dong? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like his brain is so, so freaking fun. awesome. Well, we love Bobby. Bobby is his own. He has his own universe, his own galaxy. He could just turn any conversation into. Dude, you're on the edge of your seat. Yeah, he he has this way of just freaking taking it's over. Just like good morning. He's like, oh really? <laughs> Yeah. He's just okay. kind of he'll go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, no, no, no. <laughs> and he'll like just start going off, and you're just like, whoa. Everything always could be racist, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got invited to be on. Ti- well, you got invited to be on Tiger Belly. Yeah. I wonder if they'll ever ask again. Kalila thought I lived in Hawaii. Right. And right. they had like a opening last. Well, second. they were like, we're filming in five minutes. We're filming tonight. <laughs> Can you be there? And I'm we, like, well, I live in Florida. Maybe yeah, one day we, the stars will align. We love Bobby and Kalila. I didn't know about Bobby till after my brain injury. I remember, I think I would send you clips or some stuff. And I couldn't. I was still in that haze, yeah. brain injury haze. You, you can't have a brain injury and listen to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, is a brain injury. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Joking, Bobby. Well, Sterling, I think this is going to take a long time to edit. <laughs> <laughs> so we should wrap it up. You know the rules. Should we ask them to subscribe? Because sometimes people do that. I could do it. And you you need to put this in. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, subscribe. Go. We need you to subscribe. There's thousands of people watching these videos, and we have no subscribers. The first subscriber gets this. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the podcast. We love you guys. We, we out. We don't want to say it, but you're making us. You're making us. All right. Hold on. Later, boys and girls. I gotta. Yeah, you do your thing. I know, I know that we have to go, but we'll be back next week to podcast and make you happy. How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch my salt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>